What's up guys, this is Hadi and you are watching you explain welcome back to another tutorial first of all apologies for too much delay on this video uh, This is just because of my PC schedule and secondly I bought some new equipments like a new PC and a Microphone so, so today we are going to learn about this animation which I already posted on my YouTube channel Maybe a few of you guys already watched it so i promise to show you how it's done so let's jump into the xd and animate this so i already created this homepage design in xd which is pretty much simple to design and here are the elements which we are going to animate in this tutorial so you can create these illustrations by using adobe illustrator or here in xt by using pen tool simply you can even directly copy and paste any vector design from illustrator into the xt make sure that all the illustrations are in vector stroke formations because we are using this stroke and dashes size to animate this later in this tutorial so first of all i will select all the text and click on this little icon and create a vertical scroll group now move this group into the artboard now I will select these illustrations one by one and rename as naming is very important while animating in Adobe XD so keep that in mind for this one I will set the name to earth repeat okay because we have two of them and we will use this copy of this earth illustration for making a repeat loop seamlessly right uh, you will get it what i am trying to say so now i am going to join these illustrations from start point of one illustration with the ending point of another illustration to make a feel like that they are one illustration design all right so make sure that you are very precise while doing this okay after that select all the illustrations and group them by pressing ctrl or command plus g all right now i will select the rectangle tool and create a box to mask this illustrations group inside the boundaries of this web page just like that select both shape and group and then right click and select mask with shape just like that So now what we are going to do is we will select all the illustrations and set the dashes size to zero except this bulb ones. As you can see here all the illustrations have zero size with the maximum gap size alright. So each one has zero dash size. Now I will copy the artboard by pressing Ctrl D. So here is the second artboard. I will move this illustration group above just like that and then I will select the clock illustration and set the dashes size equal to the gap size to make it visible. and turn the dashes size to 0 for bulb illustration and for the text animation I will simply move this text little bit up just like that and for this dot I will switch colors because we will click this little dot to animate alright now I will copy this artboard in the third artboard I will repeat the same steps move this illustration group up and select the earth illustration and make the size of dashes equal to the maximum gap size this time i will add some guidelines just because we have to align the illustration position exactly the same as the earth illustration because we are going to make a loop of this illustration so we need to be precise on that so now I will copy again this artboard, set the dashes size to 0 for both illustration. Select the 
group again move it all the way down select this earth repeat illustration and set the dash size to about 1500 and now align position of this illustration as same as previous by the help of these guides just like that and for the text move it all the way down so we are done with the design part now it's time to prototype these artboards so here in prototype i'll click on this little dot and drag it to the next artboard just like that and set the trigger to tap action type will be auto animate ease easing will be in out and duration will be two seconds same process for the second one click on this little dot drag it to the next artboard and setting will be the same now for the third one i will click on the artboard and drag it to the next this time trigger will be will be the time with zero seconds because we are just shifting to make a loop effect so we don't want any animation on this stage and for the last we will click on this little dot again and drag it to the first artboard to create a trigger setting will be same for auto animate so we are done now let's play this animation so it's look amazing so this is it for the today's video guys hope you like it or hope you learn something from this video please support my channel by subscribing it and you can share it to your friends and colleagues and anybody who love designing in adobe xd and thanks for watching and again you will now see content on this channel regularly so hope you are doing great